if I told you this bulb is actually not over here. Of course, it looks like it's over here, but I'm going to prove to you in a second that it does not exist in this location. Now watch. So you were looking at the reflection of this bulb. Now this is an illusion that we see every day when we look into a mirror. But somehow we never stop to think about how or why this happens. Well, to answer that, we need to understand how we gauge where things are. What I mean is, when I look at this ball, how does my brain know where exactly it is? Because right now, it's telling me it's over there and when I reach out to touch it, it is over there. So, how does my brain figure this out? Well, it's because my brain knows that light travels in straight lines. So when the light that's coming off this ball reaches my eye, my brain basically extrapolates those rays, figures out the point of intersection of those rays and then tells me that the source of that light must be at that point. So that's how I know. But then, when I look at the reflection of this ball, my brain is again telling me that there is another ball behind this mirror but when I reach out to touch it, it's not there. So how is this happening? Well, this is because the mirror reflects the light that's coming off the ball in such a way that the reflected rays look like they originate from a point behind the mirror. Now consider two cases. One, when the light is coming at me directly from the ball. That's simple. The second case, the light is coming off the ball, hitting the mirror, getting reflected and then reaching my eye. Now if you look at both the sets of rays, they look extremely similar, right? My brain really can't tell the difference. So therefore, it tells me that there must be another ball at the point of intersection of these rays. And that is a virtual image. And this is how this mirror is fooling my brain. Make your child fall in love with learning. Download Baiju's, your personalized learning app.